what is up you guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel as you guys can see from the title we are doing my nighttime skincare routine okay that nobody asked for <laughs> don't you just love that i do anyway i just got out the shower and it's time to do this skin i have been through a lot with my skin okay i am acne prone i am oily i've literally had acne since i was 12 and it i never grew out of it okay it is still a problem to this day and i have really transformed my skin here are a couple photos of what my skin used to be like and what it looked like and i feel like now i finally have a routine and a regimen that i really like and that i try to stay consistent with okay i try the routine i'm going to be showing you guys tonight let me just say this okay because i do not want to see this in the comments i do not do this 12 step routine, five step, six step routine every freaking night, okay? I do not do this every night. But today is a special night because I'm doing it for you because I love you guys. And I just wanna show you guys when I am in the mood and I feel like really doing my whole skincare night routine fully, this is what I do. Okay, so let's get started. But first we have to light a candle because I feel like when you light a candle, it just brings the ambiance. Like you're on a spot. Let me shut up. Okay, let's get started. Tonight's candle that I am lighting is a candle that my boyfriend got me for Valentine's Day. This is the pink lilac in vanilla. I am usually not a vanilla girl, but this smells so good. I feel like I'm the type of person that has the vanilla has to be mixed with something else because I just can't have straight vanilla candles. No. This smells really good. So we're gonna light this tonight to really set the mood. Bruh. It's not lighting. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I just put my little steamer on to really open up those pores and really, you know. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is body gua sha. Um, so I like gua sha my chest. This is usually a routine like I do in the shower, but because this isn't a shower routine, I'm just gonna do it out the showers because sometimes I do do it out the shower. It just depends on if I remember to do it in the shower or not. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and get started with body contouring. I saw an esthetician on TikTok do this a couple months ago and she properly shows you how to like wash your chest, your face, and how to like open up your lip nodes before you start washing it. And I never knew you had to open up your lip nodes. Like that is crazy. Anyway, I already put oil on my chest because this is like my third or fourth time trying to record this part because my towel keeps falling, okay? And the oil I went in with is the Neutrogena body oil. This is their light sesame formula. I absolutely love body oil and I like it to be light. I hate heavy body oils. It just makes me feel itchy. Anyway, oh, my towel again, hold on. I need to invest in like a Velcro towel so I don't have to keep fixing my towel every goddamn second. Okay, so let's just get started. So first we're gonna drain the lift notes. I mean, open the lift notes so that the gua sha can properly drain everything out and have the the i don't know just just do it okay so we're gonna do it press under your armpits 10 times one two three four five six later and then we're just gonna take a gua sha and we're just going to drain it out under the armpits and we're gonna do each side 10 times this is so relaxing. That's why I love to gua sha. Like I said, I don't do this routine every night, but when I do do it, it is so relaxing. And I just be in my little zone just doing this. And the whole purpose of gua sha in the first place is to really like firm the skin and like to help the skin like anti-Asian. I mean, there's a lot of benefits to gua sha. And the reason why I like to gua sha is to really like tone my face and just firm my skin. Because if you know your chest, your neck, and your face, always anything you put on your face, you put on your chest and neck. So that's why I like to gua sha the area. I have to go fix my towel again. One second. Okay, so I had to put on pajamas and hurry up to put on a shirt because that was irritating me. So next is now the face. You better not be starting to cleanse your face and start your routine at night and you are not double cleansing. If you do not know what double cleansing is, girl, I'm going to show you right now. If you are like me and acne has been a really, really big problem for you all your life, girl, 
you need to be double cleansing your face to really get all the dirt and oil out your skin one just one cleansing just doing one step just one cleanse isn't going to help i like to go in with the pre cleanser from dermalogica now this shit is a little pricey but this shit is good okay you always want to double cleanse with like a, a balm or a, some type of oily substance because that really breaks down the oil of your skin especially if you put on sunscreen which is something you should be doing every single day or you've had on makeup or something so you do this on dry skin and now that the steam is like really opened up my pores because i've just been sitting here rambling for 20 minutes we're just gonna go ahead and go in with the oil to really get in my pores especially around my nose which is my most problem area I really like to make sure I really I sound nasally I really like to make sure I'm like really getting in this area when I'm double cleansing because that's a lot that's a lot that's the area where a lot of my buildup can be every time I do my skincare I always forget my things I got off Amazon that helps the water help stop the water from going down your whole forearm i always forget these but these this is the best purchase i've ever made on amazon oh no my water went out in my steamer gotta put some more water in there 10 seconds later now it's time for cleanser i just washed off the pre-cleanser that i had on so i go i go in with like back and forth with different cleansers but my three main cleansers that i am really loving right now is the vanity cream gentle cleanser i love this cleanser because it's non cardogenic cosmogenic okay i don't know how to pronounce it i just know what it means okay it means that um it doesn't have like any harsh like chemicals and stuff in it and it also doesn't clog pores and if you are acne prone honey you need to mess with have skincare that does not clog pores because that's the main problem and then i like the matcha hydrating foaming cleanser and then i just got this new cleanser in for pr this is from the body shop this stuff is really good too so i'm actually gonna use this tonight because i like this as well and i'm completely running out of this i got this from target and i like have no more and i'm just gonna go in okay now it's face mask time i had to like crack my door like close it because my my uh my closet's dirty and i didn't want you guys to see that okay now it's face mask my Blech. face mask time what is going on with me tonight i like to use the codaly uh this is their instant detox mask so like i was saying earlier with the whole purpose of like double cleansing is to like really clean the dirt and just the horrible pollution that we die that, that we breathe in every day off your skin so this is another really good mask to really help your pores i really like to make sure i work this into my t-zone because this is my t-zone is like the oiliest part for me so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on wow this steamer is still hitting my face because this feels so good this steamer even though it like dries out my contacts like my contacts are my eyes are dry but anyway <laughs> I usually have music playing while I'm doing all of this as well, but uh, YouTube doesn't like tunes in the background. You know, copyright. Can't. I've I've had a lot of those strikes before. I can't. I can't be in that lane anymore. Okay, YouTube's gonna get me. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this mask on for like 10 minutes because that's literally all it takes for this mask to start working. And once it like hardens and you can't like move your mouth, that's when you know you're cooked and you're ready to wash it off, okay? Moments later. I can't move my face, so it's ready to wash it off. <laughs> my skin feels like a baby's bottom. It is so soft. Okay, next is toner i just got this toner on amazon a couple days ago this is the snail rescue by pink peach slices <gasps> i love it i absolutely love it, love it love it another toner that i really love is this milk and shake i think it's called beckman 1802 toner this is really good and then as you guys can see i have completely murdered this toner i have used it 
Another toner that's really good too is the Niacinamide Brighten Toner. This is from Good Molecules. I have used basically all of this too, but this is really good for lightening up the skin. So let's go in with this Snail Rescue. If you don't know anything about snail benefits, Look it up because I don't either, but I know it really works for your skin. So I'm going to put it in the palm of my hands and just pat. And remember, like I said, anything you put on your face, you put down on your neck and in your chest. On your chest, not in your chest, you know what I mean? But just bring it down, just bring it down. Now for serums, I'm going in with this Royal Honey I can't pronounce it. Um, e Rich, E Rich Essential. This is like an essential serum. And I like to go in with this because this really makes my skin like really shiny. And my skin like literally eats this up because it loves it so much. Remember, bring it down to the neck and the chest. Bring it down. This next part in my routine is what changed the game for my skin for real for real okay all the other shit i just showed you is fluff shit you really don't have to do that doesn't really make a difference this part though you're gonna want to listen up like bring the phone to your ear pay attention have you ever heard of skin cycling yeah look it up on tiktok i'm not a esthetician or dermatologist so i cannot break it down why what it scientifically does for your skin all i know is it works for me okay what basically skin cycling is and just to sum it up in so many words is that you are kind of like alternating between a liquid exfoliant and retinols like every other night so when i remember to do this when I first started doing this, I was like real consistent with it for like a month and I saw a huge difference in it really clearing up my hormone, my hormonal acne that's on my chin. So basically what I do every other night is I exfoliate one night and then I use retinol the next day and then you do like a skin barrier like lotion. So like uh, this is a skin barrier lotion I use and this is another skin barrier lotion I use to really like because... <sighs> When you exfoliate a lot and when you do, when you use a lot of retinols or tretinoins and a lot of liquid exfoliants that are really harsh on the skin, it really does hurt the skin barrier. So to really like replenish the skin and to put the nutrition back in the skin, I don't know what I'm saying. You just alternate. So you liquid exfoliant, retinol, and repair. Look it up on TikTok to really get a really good description on it because I'm not the best teacher at it okay i just know that i've started doing this and this really wants to work so i just want to show you so i can't do the liquid exfoliant because i already put like my toner and stuff on so i'm just gonna do a retinol this is a really good retinol but this is pricey i probably shouldn't even show this because this is pricey but another good retinol is the polish choice one i was using this for a while before i got this one i rut routinely get facials now so my um, esthetician who does my facial recommend this to me. So I've been doing this every single night. And you just take a pea size amount and you just go over your skin with like it. Oh my goodness, when I first started learning and using retinols and tretinoins and stuff, I did not know the preparation you had to do to use this shit. Cause this will burn your skin. I have had, I have had a couple chemical burns that I've gave to my face one time. Let me just tell you a funny story. One time I used retinol one night and I was like, oh, my mustache is growing in so i'm like let me wax it i waxed it and i burned my whole top lip off and my whole top lip was swollen and really red so yeah if you if you're on tretinoin or you use any retinols or anything like that do not wax your skin okay don't do that stop it get some help so now that's all on now it's time for eye cream this is osea oceanized eye cream that i really like i go in i like the rolly balm it's so cool under i mean cool it is cool but i mean cool like it feels good like it's cool like you know you put some in the freezer and now it's cool now and i just put this under the eye and then i kind of work it under my eye to really make sure it gets in there get those bags honey get those ah <sighs> because i don't get eight hours of sleep because i'm up all night scrolling on tiktok get all of that for me okay get it all get it all the last step it's time to gua sha our face now so i'm gonna go in with a face oil this is the sunday riley's juno face oil i like 
this oil. It's not heavy, it's really light. And I put this all over my skin. I might have put a little bit too much. It's okay, it's okay. I'm just gonna drag it down to the neck. <laughs> okay, so remember I told you guys about the esthetician who I saw on TikTok a couple months ago who showed you how to open up the lymph nodes. So, first you're gonna start off with your jawline to washa and the lymph nodes you go right here on the side of your neck and you're just gonna press 10 times to open up your jawline lymph nodes. So, one, two, three, four, five. A few minutes later. Then I'm just gonna go online on my jaw and just really work everything out i don't know if you're if you're supposed to be holding the gua sha this way or this way somebody let me know in the comments but this is how i hold it oh i'm almost forgetting i just completely forgot when she said you're doing the jawline you go and you go like this and you bring it down to the neck i was completely doing it wrong scratch everything i just said earlier so you're gonna do like this and bring it down Okay, so after you do your jawline, then you're gonna do like your cheeks and stuff. So you're gonna go and hold this part to open up your lymph nodes and you're just gonna press 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And what I mean by this part is like right in front of your ear. You're just gonna hold down and just press 10 times. Go ahead and do my cheeks. I suck at teaching <laughs> Teaching was not my thing. That's why I'm not a teacher. Can't forget about the lip balm because I do not like going to bed with dry lips. Can we give a round of applause for the skin? <laughs> that is a wrap for my nighttime skincare routine. It wasn't that bad. Yes, it was. I've been in this bathroom for like 30, 45 see this is why i don't do this every night okay sometimes i just literally slap on my cleanser put on some lotion and go to bed it depends on how tired i am but thank you guys for watching this video if you stayed this long let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more routines like this like my morning routine or shower routine or anything like that and i love you guys thank you again for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next week